We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your tea cups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about our favorite R&B singer, Chris Brown. He is back in the news. And what's going down with Chris Brown is that basically yesterday he dropped his newest single called Questions. And that damn single is on fire. From me. Okay, that song goes hard. I'm seeing folks making up dances already on Instagram. Now y'all know everything Chris touches music wise for the most part turns to gold. Okay, so the controversy going on today with Chris Brown is this so there's a new show that Chris Brown is going to be a part of and it's called welcome to my life and in this new show there's a snippet going around the internet and basically for the first time Chris Brown is having a sit-down conversation about what happened to him and Rihanna during that fateful night back in 2009. If you guys remember way back in February 2009, they were supposedly on their way to the Grammy Awards and neither one of them showed up. And then come to find out later on, there was a huge domestic violence situation that went down between Chris Brown and Rihanna. And it was a lot of drama that went on back then. That's when, you know, um, you know, vlogging and YouTube and stuff was still in its infancy. And I remember everybody talking about it at that time on YouTube and in the media and Oprah coming out and stating her piece to Rihanna. And, you know, so far we had really heard only Rihanna talk about what happened. But now Chris Brown is also speaking about it. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this small snippet here. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. At 16 and 17 years old, man, that's dangerous because you can do whatever you want. I just think we were like the perfect video. And I found it really, really interesting. You know, I'm glad that Chris Brown is coming out and he's basically stating his, you know, his side of the story. And um, he's taking personal responsibility as well for what he did. He's not just saying that, oh, well, you know, she beat me and, you know, it was okay for him to react, retaliate. That's not what he's saying. You know, he also goes on later on in the interview to say that, you know, the reason why things went crazy is after he punched her in the mouth, she spit blood in his face and everything else. And a lot of folks from day one have always felt that Rihanna was not innocent in the situation. They always felt like Rihanna had to have put her hands on him as well and now Chris Brown is definitely validating that and you know my thing is this they were both very young I mean they started dating at what 15 16 and you also have to realize these were two young people who not only you know they weren't living a regular life or regular teenagers they also had fame money and status so I guess for me what I'm taking away from the situation is while I respect Chris's you know honesty and him wanting to tell his side of the story it also does not negate or okay the fact that he beat her the weight that he did and it does not negate the fact that Rihanna also put her hands on him and I think what people should take from this story is that no one should be putting their hands on any body male or female and if a female is putting their hands on you you're better off walking away from the situation and calling the police or trying to press charges because at the end of the day they're only going to see you as the aggressor and as the abuser so a lot of guys need to realize that as well that it's not worth it to fight a woman back because a lot of times it can mess up you know what you have going on your job your career and things like that and as women we also need to learn to control our anger and and realize that it's not okay no matter how upset we get even if the guy's cheating or doing something stupid it's not okay to put your hands on somebody else because again you never know how far they may take it or how far they may react Rihanna may have thought okay I'm slapping him you know the most he'll do is push me and he literally punched her in the face with a closed fist you know so again you can never predict how somebody's going to react once you put your hands on them and I also think that young people should take from this situation of Rihanna and Chris Brown and realize that once again like I always tell you there really should be no relationship goals because no matter what you see on television and the magazines you never know what's going on behind closed doors. And I remember even back then, you know, during the whole Chris Brown and Rihanna situation when they were together, I thought they were such a perfect couple. You know, he's very handsome. She's beautiful. And, you know, they had songs together. Like, I really loved Chris Brown and Rihanna together. I am 
But again, that just proves nothing because through all that, behind the scenes, Chris Brown was steadily cheating on her, disrespecting her, making her look like a fool in her eyes. And then on top of that, Rihanna was disrespecting him and slapping him up. And, you know, they had a lot of issues behind the scenes that we as, you know, fans and consumers of their music that we never see. So, again, this is why nobody should be screaming relationship goals or, you know, hoping that their relationship that they're in mirrors a celebrity or mirrors somebody that they see on television or in the industry. Because, again, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. You know, we recently had the situation with Jay-Z and Beyonce where Jay-Z came out and admitted to, you know, cheating on Beyonce. You know, this whole time, a lot of us thought they had this, you know, really cool relationship, really perfect. You know, she's the perfect wife. He's the perfect husband. And, you know, Jay-Z came out and admitted that he was cheating on her and really didn't stop until after Blue Ivy was born. So you never know what folks are going through. And I think that's one lesson that young people should take from this situation is to not idolize anyone or anything, but to focus on your relationship and making sure that your own personal relationships with people, be it a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a friend, you know, your relatives, make sure your own personal relationships that affect you deeply, make sure those relationships are healthy, pristine, and well put together. You know, the whole situation is sad, but again, they were young. And I'm glad that it seems like they both have grown from this and they both moved on from this. And it seems like now they're just cordial with each other. You know, sometimes you'll see Chris Brown leaving comments in her comment section telling her that she looks good. And sometimes, you know, she'll like some of his statuses. So, you know, if Chris Brown and Rihanna were able to move past this and they're somewhat okay with each other, I'm not about to sit here and lose sleep behind the situation. But I would like for people who are, you know, watching this video or who may find themselves in this situation, get out. You know, not all relationships are meant to be salvageable. And if there's more arguing and fighting in the relationship, then at that point in time, it's just better to cut your losses and move on. It doesn't make any sense to hold on to somebody who does not want to be in a relationship or to constantly go through heartache and pain and physical abuse and putting your hands on each other. It's not worth it. So I hope people learn from this situation. And if you are in this situation, Get out, okay? Just like the movie. Get out, get out the sunken place, and move the hell on. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. And last but not least, please realize that YouTube no longer supports this channel. You know what I'm saying? So to continue to support me and everything I do here on this channel, please make sure to join my Patreon or my PayPal. You guys can donate as little as a dollar a month if you guys want me to keep cranking out these videos. I need support from viewers like you all. I enjoy making content. I enjoy speaking my truth as I see it, and I'm not going to allow YouTube or anybody to stop me from making videos, so please continue to support this channel. All of those links will be down below. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.